If you clicked on this video, I'm going to be showing you 20 things you can do in summer so you'll never be bored again. Let's go. The first thing you can do in summer is exercise. Now I know this sounds pretty standard, but you can spend an hour of your day doing some exercise. You don't need to go to an actual gym to do this. You could do running, go cycling if you've got a bike, or you can just do press-ups and sit-ups on the ground. Good for your mental health, good for your physical health, and also just kill some time. Another good thing about exercise is that you can add a goal onto it. If you're deciding to do a lot of running during the summer holidays, you might have a goal that by the end of the summer holidays you won't be able to run a marathon. The second thing you can do in summer is get a job. Now I know I sound like a parent, I sound like my dad, I sound like my mum, oh I'll just go and get a job. But if you're in summer holidays or maybe in summer, you've got loads of time, you're pretty bored, you can either be bored or you can be bored making money. There's loads of jobs you can go out and get. If you're quite young, you can get a job in a pub being a pot washer. If you're a bit older, you can be a bartender. Go and work in Lidl, mate. Lidl are always looking for new employees. Go and work in Lidl or go and work in Tesco. Or if you're posh, you can go and work in Waitrose. Also lifeguarding. There's so many different jobs you can go and get. So go out, earn yourself a bit of money. Go on, go and get yourself a bit of money, why not? The third thing you can do in summer is go and meet up with friends. Now this is, this is a bit hard for me because I don't, um, I don't have any friends at the minute, but um, I'm working on it. Hopefully, I'll get some new friends. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't have any friends. So, if you're feeling bad for me, you could subscribe though, if you want. Fourth thing you could do in summer is reading. This could be fictional or non-fictional. Personally, I don't like reading. I find it pretty boring. It's not something I personally would want to do. But if you're like reading, go out and read. Go and buy a book. Go and read Harry Potter or some finance book or whatever you want. It actually is a good way of killing time if you get proper into it. There are a few books which I read which I got proper into. Percy Jackson, absolutely banging book. I've read all five of them, which is pretty impressive for me since I never read. The fifth thing you could do in summer is learn a new language. Go and learn Spanish. Go and learn Portuguese. Go and learn Mandarin, go and learn Arabic or something, go and learn a new language. Now this may be a bit difficult, you might have to go and get a teacher, or there are apps and courses on your phone on the internet you could use. Duolingo, I know that's a good one, I'm not sure how much of a language that actually teaches you, but go and do that. Personally, I can only speak English, well, I say I can speak English, I can kind of speak English, I can't speak it that well, but I'm really trying my best guys. But yeah, go and learn a new language. The next thing you could do is learn a musical instrument. Learn to play piano, learn to play guitar. Now this one is very difficult. I got a piano a few years ago, which my parents bought me. Never used it once, because I don't have a teacher. A lot of people are like, oh Tom, uh, you, could, you could just uh, teach yourself how to play piano. I've tried. It is difficult. If you're going to learn musical instruments, I do suggest getting a teacher. If you live in a big city, it's probably quite easy for you to go find a teacher, even though they can be a bit expensive, but you've already gotten a job like you did my last tip. But learn a musical instrument, great to kill time, and it's also, it's just a flex. When you're at a party, you can pull out of the guitar, start singing like Ed Sheeran. Who isn't gonna love that? Next thing you can do in summer is learn an online skill. This could be editing, Photoshop, graphic design, social media marketing, social media management. We're going to an age now where everyone's on social media, everyone's wanting to become an influencer, like, like me, but doesn't matter. Learning these online skills not only add a little bit more depth to your character, but you can also monetize these so you can actually end up making money. I mean, in five years time, you could be like the best video editor in the world. You'd be the best graphic designer in the world. That could be you. Ninth thing you can do in summer is cooking. Learn how to cook. If you do not know how to cook, you need to learn how to cook. That's one of the things I'm doing this summer, is learning how to cook, so I can go and cook spaghetti bolognese when I'm at uni, just go and flex on how good at cooking I am. If you already know how to cook, summer is a great time to kill some time. See what I did there? I know, that was really bad, right? Just say that. Summer is a very good time to go and learn new recipes to increase your cooking knowledge, and you can go out and you become the next Gordon Ramsay or Gino, or who's that other guy? Fred, Fred, the French guy, Fred. Go be like Fred. Learn how to cook. The tenth thing you could do in summer is join a club. This could be a sports club, football club, rugby club, boxing club, badminton club, tennis club, or it could either just be like a gaming club, a chess club, eco-friendly club, I don't know, whatever club you want to join, go and join a club. Great way to make new friends, which to be fair, maybe I should, maybe I should join a club. Go and join a club, make some new friends, go and learn some new experiences, Join a club. The next thing you can do in summer holidays is revamp your room. Now my bedroom is a complete mess at the minute, but if you're in summer, you're bored, you've got nothing to do, go and revamp your room. Go and change things around. Go and hoover it. Dust in. Apparently you can actually dust, like your desk and your chest of drawers. You can like, you can get like a brush and like dust them and it actually like cleans it. 
I actually had no idea you could do that till very recently. But yeah, go and dust your bedroom and stuff. I no, I don't I don't like cleaning, okay? In fact, I don't think anyone likes cleaning. I don't go and add a bit more sophistication to your bedroom. Go and add posters. Just go and go wild, go crazy. Make your bedroom look great. The next thing you can do this summer is start a social media page. This could be YouTube, TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, if people still use Facebook, I thought that was like an old adult thing, I don't know. Go and, use, go and start a Facebook page, go for it. Now this doesn't have to be social media pages with you personally on it, you have these thing called theme pages, so if you're really passionate about cars or football, you go on there, post some football clips, post some car clips, and you can end up building a following. You might even be able to monetize in the future, and just a good little goal, a good little thing to have, and it also teaches a lot about social media, and it also just allows you to develop your character a bit more. Next thing you can do this summer is sunbathe. That's it, literally just sunbathe, like, I'm pretty sure that's like standard in summer holidays to sunbathe. Anyway, the next thing you can do with summer holidays is gardening. Gardening is very therapeutic, it's very calm, it's very relaxing. You go to your local supermarket, you better go to Lidl. If you go into any other shop apart from Lidl, I don't want to be your friend. Lidl is the OG go of shops. Go to your local supermarket, buy some seeds, go and plant some watermelons. Go and make some watermelons, go and plant some mangoes. Go and plant some, are mangoes, do you plant mangoes? Mangoes grow on trees. I don't think mangoes are plants, are they? Leave in the comment whether mangoes grow on trees or are they a plant, I don't know. But you go in gardening, make it look nice, make your garden look great, and who doesn't love gardening? The 15th thing you could do in summer is go on a road trip. Now this does require you to have a car, or maybe go by bus or by train. This is also good to go with friends. Go down to London. If you're from up north, go down to London. If you're from London, go up north. Go and explore your country. The next thing you can do in summer is mini golf. Mini golf is for people who want to play golf but are too stupid enough to actually play golf so they play mini golf instead. A bit like me. The next thing you can do in summer is paintballing with the boys. Paintballing is absolutely amazing. Who doesn't like to go paintballing? You literally get to be a soldier in real life. If you ever play Call of Duty, if you love Call of Duty, go and do some paintballing. You literally get to play Call of Duty in real life. It's great fun until you get shot. And that's like me, you just like, you just, you just, you, just, you can't get shot because you're just too quick. Like, just dodge it like that. The next thing you could do in summer is clothes shopping. Go clothes shopping, guys. Go and upgrade your wardrobe. Go and find new clothes to wear. When you go to school, go to college, go to university in September, October, whatever time you guys go to uni or, or back to education, you're gonna look like the freshest, drippiest person there. No one's gonna be better looking than you. You are gonna be the man. Go clothes shopping. 19th thing to do in summer is go on holiday. That's it. Literally just go on holiday, just go somewhere, what is it in your country, go to Japan, Jamaica, Australia, America, whatever you want, just go on holiday guys, just allow some steam, go for it, go on holiday, why not, it's not too late, go and book your flight, off your pop, see you later. The final thing you could do in summer holidays, the 20th thing is bowling. If I have to explain to you why bowling is like the coolest thing to do in the world, then this video obviously wasn't for you. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe because I'm really, really desperate. I really want you to subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Uh, click on this video now if you want. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Stay blessed.